I need to take screen prints in Windows 10 every day. Let me show you how to do it using the newest tool in Windows 10 called Snip and Sketch. Let's navigate to CNN.com and to launch Snip and Sketch, you need to press Windows Shift S. And then you see cursor changes its appearance. And what you can do now, you can highlight the area of the screen that you're trying to select. And now Windows puts this information into clipboard automatically. And what you can also do, you can edit this image that you just selected. And maybe you want to share something with colleagues. So you highlight this using the highlighter tool, for example. And you sketch around then you can put it into clipboard again by using Control c and then let's say you need to paste it in microsoft word you open blank document and use paste button to paste this information and you see the sketcher and the highlighter i used remains in the image you can make some additional editing as the tool as you wish. You can use maybe pencil, highlighter and pencil in different colors. It allows you to change the colors. We already looked at the highlighter. If you don't like something, you can erase it. This is an eraser. You can add a ruler and you can change the ruler to protractor as well. If you don't like any of those, you can just remove them or you can crop the image and make it smaller and remove some things that you don't want to show in the image. Maybe you want to point out just specific sections of the image and the picture that you're trying to share. And once you're done with editing, you can save the image on your drive in a lot of different formats, or you can copy it into clipboard and use in other applications. Very cool features of Snip and Sketch. Snip and Sketch is an extremely useful tool and definitely improves your productivity in Windows 10. Another cool feature in Windows 10 is dark mode for File Explorer. By default, when you launch File Explorer, it shows with the white background, which a lot of times creates a lot of pressure on your eyes, especially if you watch on your screen a long time during the day. So what Microsoft did, they enabled dark mode Dark mode allows you to work longer without putting too much strain on your eyes. Let me demonstrate you how to launch dark mode. You go to settings, personalization, then you scroll down and go to colors. And here you look at choose your default app mode. And by default, it's light, but you can switch it to dark and see what happens. You see immediately background becomes dark and it becomes dark in the settings as well as in File Explorer. So now I'm going to close settings when I launch File Explorer. Now you can work longer without feeling too much stress and being tired. Now let me show you snap feature in Windows 10. Using snap feature, you can work jointly with multiple applications. For example, I want to work with two copies of File Explorer so I can see in both copies how to copy information from one place in Windows in my file system to another location. To do that, I'm going to launch second copy of File Explorer. I already have one running, so I'm just going to click on the File Explorer again, and you see that there are two copies of File Explorer that are running. I'm going to say File Explorer, so you see that there are two copies running now. But I have to switch between the copies, let's say, if I want to navigate to different places, for example, from pictures, I want to copy some files into the documents. It's not very convenient. Obviously, I can rearrange the applications, but there is a snap feature and you use shortcuts, uh, Windows button and right keyboard button. And what it does, it first of all shows all the applications that are running right now on the left and it snaps the application that's currently in focus and snaps meaning that it takes exactly half of the window and it takes right half because I clicked Windows and the right button on the keyboard. Now let me do the same thing for the second copy of File Explorer. I just clicked on this and it filled the left half of the screen. As you can see now, both applications 
with just couple mouse clicks, they can fill the screen and use maximum space allowed and I can see in both and I can navigate in both between documents, for example, and desktop and downloads folders and I can drag and drop. And you can use it not just for File Explorer, you can use it for a lot of other applications if you're trying to see side by side and you don't have a second screen and just have maybe one laptop screen. This is what I currently have. And this is extremely useful feature and definitely improves productivity. Microsoft extended this feature even further. So for example, on the right side, if I make the File Explorer in focus, I can push the up button, Windows up, and then it holds exactly quarter of the screen. And for example, I can fill in the lower part of the uh, right side uh, with the third application. So I can have three applications potentially, or even four applications if I do the same thing with applications on the left side. So very cool feature called Snap. Another cool feature in Windows 10 is Task View as well as Timeline. Let's look at those in more details. For example, if you want to see all applications currently running, you press Windows tab and it shows you that I currently have multiple applications open. But on top of that, it also shows you all the activities and all the applications that you used in the past. For example, I was doing research on the 1080p resolution size and I can launch it and see what is the exact size of the 1080p resolution. Go back to my notes so you can see again, I'm going to press Windows tab, key combination, and it shows you not just what's running today, but also all the work that you did in the past. By default, it keeps this data for 30 days, but you can extend it. Just uh, see the instructions of how to add more days into timeline. Now let's look at another cool feature in Windows 10, which is called virtual desktops. To use it, you need to go back to task view, uh, which you can do multiple times. This is a task view button or you can also use Windows tab as we did in the previous review. What you can do here, you can click New Desktop and then it launches. By default, your uh, current set of applications become Desktop 1 and then you can create another Desktop 2. So what are desktops? Desktops allow you to set up a specific set of tasks and work on those specific set of tasks, imitating multiple computers. So for example, Throughout my day, I do multiple tasks. Um, for example, I research topics in the browser. And let's say that I want to do it in my desktop one. I launch browser, I launch multiple copies, and I launch all supporting applications related to this task. Maybe I have browser running. Maybe I have um, research going on here in this desktop. Now I want to switch and record the video. I only want to show relevant stuff in my recording. So what I can do for that, I can create a new desktop, right? Or switch back to my original desktop and complete the recording. And then the third task, maybe what I'm going to be doing for my video, I will be creating thumbnails. So I'll launch new desktop, uh, desktop three, and I'll have all relevant applications running in here, which might be um, Windows Paint, And maybe I'm using Photos app. So for example, now let me show you some cool features what you can do. You can switch between desktops. For example, as you go and complete research in our project and want to record video, you just switch from uh, desktop one to desktop two. You can also move applications from one desktop to another desktop. Let me show you how to do that. You just click move to on the application and you choose between desktops and you can open additional desktops and close the desktops. This is the close button and to open a new desktop, you just click on the new desktop uh, plus button and create a new desktop. And the last cool feature I'd like to show you is Cortana. Cortana can do a lot of things for you. Let me show you just some of the examples. To launch Cortana, you click on the Cortana button right on your taskbar. And you see it's listening and it's typing everything that I'm talking about. But let me reset that. And I'm going to show you a couple commands uh, of what you can do in Cortana. What is the weather in Milwaukee? You see Cortana shows you the weather and you can plan uh, based on this information. Another thing you can do is uh, 
Tell me a joke. And you see Cartana just uh, came up with the joke, which may or may not be funny to you. And the uh, other feature I use pretty often is Launch Notepad. And because I have two notepads, I have to choose, but if it's unique enough, you can just choose a default notepad application um, that you want, or maybe if it's a unique name, then you don't have to choose. And by default, it will launch this application. If you like the content, please make sure to click the like button and share with your friends. Also, there's tons of information in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.